The high-end art market outpaced stocks in 2011, making it the second year in a row. Nowadays, art is certainly a smart part of a diversified portfolio strategy. Uh, obviously, with con the concern of what's been going on in the marketplace, uh, a lot of financially savvy uh, investors and people in general are looking for alternative places to put some of their hard-earned money, and art is certainly one of those places. That said, you need to protect your art. It's not like a stock which you leave at the brokers. Tell me, how do you protect your art? That's exactly the key difference between a stock portfolio and an art collection. With an art collection, the collectors have to be actively involved in maintaining the financial and aesthetic value. And that primarily means um, paying attention to how do you hang your art within the home? Do you use weight rated hooks? Are you using a qualified art packer or shipper to move items from your primary to secondary residence or from your shopping trip in Paris back home? Surrounding yourself with art experts the same way you surround yourself with financial experts to advise you on your portfolio. What about insurance against theft? We've seen a number of Thomas Crown-like high-profile art thefts recently. How do you make sure it doesn't happen to you? Security, security, security. Uh, we advise our clients to get central station fire burglar alarms and also sometimes to attach your artwork to an alarm if you have a particularly valuable item and also to keep an updated uh, inventory. Some clients, especially if you have a large home or if you own a lot of art, you may forget where one piece is or suddenly one day it's like, where did that Matisse print go? So keeping an inventory and also updated appraisals are key as well. And of course, a good insurance policy that covers you against theft. And how do you insure yourself against damage? Damage is actually a, a key point. When we did a survey of our top 200 losses, over 50% of our collector clients suffered a loss from accidental damage. Only about 10% suffered a loss from theft. Certainly a good insurance, uh, art insurance policy will cover against accidental loss or damage. But the interesting thing again for collectors is most accidental loss can be prevented. A big source of accidental loss is loss and damage, so therefore you should use an art expert packer or shipper, um, not a FedEx or a DHL. They're great for sending lots of items, but, but not highly valuable artworks. Similar to the stock market, some art investors prefer to buy blue chips by well-known painters, while others seek riskier up-and-coming artists. No matter the strategy, the best art investors, says Ziggerlig, are the ones that care the most. If you passionately care, you've been following an artist's career, and you actually take personal pleasure in, in seeing the art on, on your wall. If you make a financial reward, that, that's often the, um, that, that can be a bonus on the side, and um, a lot of collectors can enjoy that as well. Most collectors I've known actually will use that money then to buy more art. They, they become very addicted to the whole uh, collecting process.